December 29th. A word in season to the weary by Brother Bok Singh. Lord, open the eyes of these men, that they may see. And the Lord opened their eyes, and they saw. 2 Kings chapter 6 verse 20. A blind man was brought to the Lord Jesus. Mark chapter 8 verses 22 to 25. Usually the Lord healed the sick and infirm with just one touch. But in this case it was different. Firstly, the Lord Jesus took the blind man by his hand. We also have to learn how to be held by Lord, and to hold on to his hand. Many of us know the Bible, but we have failed to understand how to hold on to the hand of the Lord. Instead, we often hold on to some man's hand. As long as you allow him to hold you by his hand you will be safe in any kind of circumstance. Secondly, the Lord Jesus led the blind man out of the town. Through this he is teaching us a spiritual lesson. He wants us to see that if we are to be healed of our spiritual blindness we must allow him to lead us away from all our worldly associations and friendships. How many believers fail to attend worship with the Lord's people because of worldly friends and relations? If you allow the Lord to lead you, He will liberate you from all associations which bring loss and blindness. Thirdly, we see that the Lord Jesus spat upon the eyes of the blind man. This meant that the man had to be prepared to bear reproach for his name's sake. If we want to grow spiritually we must be ready to bear his reproach. Matthew chapter 10 verses 24 and 25, 1 Peter chapter 4 verse 14. There are many believers who are not willing to bear reproach and so do not testify about the Lord. As a result they become blind spiritually and lose their joy. When our Lord touched this man new life came into him. But even after he had received new life, we see that the Lord had not finished dealing with him. The Lord asked him if he saw aught, Mark chapter 8 verse 23. He could have said, Yes Lord, it is wonderful, I can see. Of course, the Lord knew what the condition of his sight was before he asked the question, but he wanted that man to make an honest confession of his own accord. We see how the man made full and honest confession to the Lord, I see men as trees, walking, this man confessed his weakness to the Lord. So the Lord touched him and gave him clear vision. How glad he must have been then, that he had not tried to cover up his real condition from the Lord. Maybe you too are being troubled by temper, or pride, or greed, or some other defiling habit, practice or friendship. Maybe you tell lies. Because of these weaknesses your spiritual eyes are dim. Do not be reluctant to confess your weakness and defeat to the Lord Jesus. That is what he is waiting for you to do now, then he will touch you. He is so loving and gracious and merciful. He will give you one more touch and restore perfect spiritual sight to you.